today i am going to show you how to create these cottage roses i am so sorry i couldn't make flower making videos in so long so here we go hi this is archana and if you are new to my channel welcome and please subscribe and uh, hit that bell icon so you can get the not notification when i upload my videos i usually make flower making videos and some other things you can figure it out when you will search all my playlist or all my other videos so i hope you will find my channel interesting and stay with me so i'm going to show you how to create these cottage roses using just plain simple cardstock which is 65 lb i always use that paper and i always use team hold ink distress ink for distressing all the edges and everything and i always use fab fabric tack glue to stick my flowers petals i never use hot glue gun and uh, i use my mcgill tools and uh, of course you all know if you are not new you all know i always use my ek success punch five petal punch retro punch to make my flowers and uh, that is it but today i'm showing you how to create these flowers using one of the beautiful cutting die set which uh, sent by annalise which is the creali site i have that website link below description box i ordered some of the large tags from her and she was sweet enough to send me some of her flower dies as well so i'm so sorry annalise i hope i pronounce your name right annalise i think um I'm so sorry for taking so long to create this video since in a winter time I always hibernate literally <laughs> yes so winter is not my friend I am always not so energetic in winter but I tried my best to make few videos and uh, second thing is uh, it was a tax time so I was busy taxing uh, all my business things so I do my own taxes so it took so long and it's really big headache you know if you are uh, doing your own taxes but okay um, enough uh, talk about other things and we will move on to all these pretty pretty flowers so first of all i'll show you the dies she sent me she sent me these ones so she has these flower dies which are luckily five petal dies which is my favorite size of petals so um it, this set has the three different dies you can see tiny medium and uh, other tiny one and this is the larger one so it is perfect for die set if you want to get them please check it out her link below in the description box so i am using this size you always know i like little bit larger size flower so we are going to use this one so i have already cut the petal but don't worry right now if you don't have this die or if you don't want to buy it's not like a, a pr video it's it's not like a video which is a, a design team member video or something like that it is just a gift she sent me and re i really wanted to shout out about her website so that's the thing but definitely we are using our five petal so this is our thing and everybody has this and since my channel started making flowers people bought these punches from like i don't know from where because they are discontinued and people are buying them from used stores or some uh, like uh, i don't know ebay or uh, other places but i'm sure everyone got this most of you got these uh, dies or punches so we are definitely sticking with our regular five petal retro punch so we are going to make both uh, things and the technique is similar technique for our uh, petal is little bit different than this one since this petal has uh, pre-made all these uh, cute little points so let's get started it's not hard it's very easy and very uh, fun to make such flowers first of all i'll show you couple more blue flowers since we are using blue color so you can see the little difference this one has the points and this is our five petal flower so not much difference right so uh, we can start making our flowers 
so get your petals on your mat and uh, we need to color it a little bit with our regular team holds distress ink so you can get any color with white paper and just uh, color it edges if you want you can color in the middle as well if you want to give more color to your petals but I prefer coloring on the tips since these tips are coming in the center uh, like on a top so this color will really pretty if you give it on the tippy top so that is it and of course we need to make them soak I will soak them from front and back so I'm not directly um, spraying my water on this mat as you know I made a lots of flowers I gave lots of tutorials over the years and uh, I noticed when I'm soaking um, this water directly on this mat this mat uh, will not last longer so i want my mats stay with me as long as possible so this is my very new mat and uh, i just want to save it for long so uh, if you want you can uh, get any other tissue paper or uh, some kind of uh, towel paper napkin and soak your leaves but that is the tip i learn over the years and uh, for this petal so take this petal in your hand and uh, I think one of my uh, rose making videos I showed the same technique so we are going to do it uh, if you remember what I am doing right now you can see hold your uh, finger like this and you need to make a point right here make a nice point so we need that point if uh, in the further procedure that point fed up we need to do it again since this point makes this cottage rose really pretty so make this one so it's going to be closer like this one okay and uh, for this one I have used this our medium punch this is my favorite size these are the tools we are using and I'm using the large one and second large one, medium, medium one. And uh, I don't have Fabri-Tac today, but I found this another glue, quick dry adhesive. So maybe it is like a Fabri-Tac and it is clear dry. So nothing difference between those two glues. So um, I will use this today. And uh, let's get started. So what we need to do get your medium tool and run this on the edges like that don't uh, use in the middle on each petal we don't need cup shape here right here just make the make this uh, edge a little bit uh, uh, embossed or you can edge this first like run this tool on the edge first and then you can make the point whatever or however you feel um, easy so just do it like that okay and for this one we need to do the same thing just run this tool on the edge like this And then we need to take these petals upside down and get your large tool and make a deep well here like that and rack it to the center so make it push it harder and drag it like that if you want you can roll it a little bit but it's not necessary just push it harder if your uh, petal is enough wet uh, it's easy to get those bumps you can see your petal will look like that right now okay and then for this petal 
you just need to get the smaller tip and then just press on the tips like that just press it and make those tips more uh, towards inside like that and again you can make these little bit deep so it will look like this one all right and then for this one we just need to do the same step just push it and drag it and during this step you will see that uh, our uh, points uh, go away but since we made those indent there it's easy to make those points back again because the uh, fibers from these tops we already break so it's easy to get this tip again like like that okay so these are our and make some uh, tiny a circle on the center so these are the petals we needed all right so we need five of each or four of each it's up to you how many you want so for this i used four petals it looks so pretty right and for this i used five petals super bulky super nice it almost looks like a wilder kid craft flower right the tea rose i think they're tea roses so i have already made another five petals of these and some of these five petals okay so to make the center this center get your petal upside down on the mat so i will just zoom out a little bit and then uh, with any uh, large ball tool you need to make a well right there like uh, uh, push it a uh, little bit harder so make a cup shape uh, for the center you can use any type of center which i have previous tutorials like use uh, aluminium foil foam or uh, bead you can use that or just the tissue paper uh, roll i have tissue paper uh, napkin rolled here in a teardrop shape so i'm using that one i don't want to uh, make a hole here right in the center i lost my punch i am uh, cleaning my room so i lost so many things here and there so i don't have anything to make a hole i could make a hole with this one but i don't want to waste my time right now so we will just use this one so uh, get your favorite glue glue in the center nicely and on each petal in the middle those uh, uh, deep part uh, don't use glue all over the petal it's not necessary and uh, get your any kind of center right here and just close these two front petals and then other three petals push it nice and hard like that so it will look like this one okay hold it for few seconds since this glue takes a bit time to dry and then get another petal and you have to do the same thing for two petals you have to do it upside down and uh, make this deep center and again you need to do the same thing get your glue on each petal and stick it alternate so you can see these two goes in between and this one so you know what i mean i always telling the same thing in my every video uh, just hold for a while so center will look like that 
looks pretty already right so hold it and then next one we need to uh, use it as it is this color part up and make a well and this time also you need a you need to use a glue on the center and only little bit tiny drops on the bumpy part okay like that and then stick it and hold it nicely and don't afraid of uh, pushing that uh, I mean those bumpy parts up uh, if you push it like that you will not ruin your shape since it's a dip if the other case in this case if you push it then that bumpy part will um, go in but in this step don't worry just feel free to give a really good pressure on all these five petals and stick those because only these bumpy part needs to be stick on the back like this and if you like it this shape you can make flowers like this one but I need to add some more petals and for other two petals we just need a glue on the center like that and I really like four petal flower somehow uh, but if you want more bigger and bulkier rows add few more right so four petal flowers look really good but I will show you how it will look when you use the fifth petal there you go isn't it look pretty I love it I made so many flower roses last night and uh, today I decided to give a tutorial I didn't want to wait till the Friday since Friday is going to be super busy for me and on Saturday we are going to have a YouTube hop so please do not forget about um, this announcement and there are so many wonderful ladies showing very pretty projects I'm super excited for this YouTube hop now we will move on this one get your petal make a well and again I have this uh, tissue paper center same thing we are doing it here close this tissue paper center really nice so it will not show and if teeny tiny part will show doesn't matter it's perfectly fine okay then another petal make a well and and this is the Krialis dies it's a sweet gift from her and uh, I really liked this dye hold it nice and tight um, since this glue is so runny it take time to stick it properly and then get these ones make a 
circle on the center nice and tight and then again use your glue in the center on the bumps I noticed this glue is very very stringy than Fabri-Tac means I was okay with Fabri-Tac strings but I am not at all okay with this glue string so I have no option I have to use it since these kind of glues are not so cheap of course Hold it nicely. Okay, and then we will quickly put the glue on here and then stick these two together. Since I don't want those strings come out, they are annoying. I'm so sorry. I never complained about anything mostly I never complain but I think when you are getting older you are losing your patience hmm that's happening with me recently all right so this is our Creolis dye flower ready so these are the flowers we created today and I hope you like these roses they are pretty and uh, one more time this is my project and uh, I have posted pictures on my Facebook and my Instagram so if you want to check it out please feel free to check like comments and I have used white paper and uh, worn lipstick uh, Tim Holtz ink that is the name of that distress ink I really like that ink always that worn, worn lipstick super pretty right so 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 cute all right I'll not take much time because I am keep staring on my own project I don't want okay anyway thank you so much for watching and please do not forget the YouTube hop so I will see you on Saturday I will be so excited to show you my project and uh, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.